Unfortunately, it's the end of the line for the Providence College men's basketball team as they fall 73-69 to to the Texas A&M Aggies in the first round of the NCAA tournament in Charlotte. For Coach Cooley, having to say goodbye to a great group of seniors might be the toughest part. Thought we did a great job coming out the gate, in particular in the first half, but we just couldn't, we couldn't throw the ball in the basket. So defensively, I thought we did a good job. Halftime, we're right where we needed to be. Cut the lead to one couple of times in the second half and just couldn't get over the hump. Um, but when you look at the big picture, I'm, I'm really proud of the group. It's really sad that I have to see these seniors leave and you know do what they've done at Providence College over four years getting to the tournament. I feel like I let them down not doing it. Hopefully I'll do a better job with the next group if we're fortunate to get into this game again. Um, it's just sad. You know, it's the finale. You, you can't, you don't have any more games with these guys and I couldn't be more proud of them. I just think about um, the great memories I've had with, with the players that have been through here that I've played with and the players I'm currently playing with. And, and honestly, man, at, at, at Providence College, it's more than just basketball. And I think they've helped me um, become a man and, and taught me life lessons along with how to be a better player. So, um, you know, I'm blessed to have, to have the opportunity to go to Providence College. I'm definitely going to miss it. So. Um, the experience that I've had here, I mean, uh, I've grown up and became a man, and um, it's just been great with all the experience playing the Big East tournament, playing the NCAA tournament, feel, feel, feel how it went, feels to win, being a winning culture and to be here five times in a row. It's something that nobody would probably ever be able to do, and it's rare. And, um, man, it's just been great for five years here. The future is bright in Friartown as they look to open the Ruane Fryer Development Center later this year and take the program to the next level. Reporting from Charlotte, North Carolina, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.